Hey guys, Laura here. Welcome back. I just wanted to show you this wig that I'm going to be selling. Her name is As If from Size Styles. She is incredibly silky soft, medium low density, like the perfect density, I think. She has a little bit of layers throughout. You can see my sideburns. She has a little bit of layers throughout and this really fun like curtain bang here that I love. She's on a side part now, but you could part her in the center as well. Um, I need to curl her. She's just kind of been sitting in a box and I didn't take the time to curl her, but she can, and I can always add more layers or something like that if you wanted, but she has got a really cute, uh, I would say strawberry blonde root. Let me get closer up so you can see that root. Strawberry blonde root. I'm trying to get good lighting. It's just that sun goes in and out of clouds and it's like it moves positions and it's really hard to get good lighting, but she is warm. So she's got that uh, strawberry blonde pulled throughout. And she has a little bit of a darker root underneath of a brown, kind of a neutral brown, neutral, maybe a slightly warm brown, but then here it's a lighter color. It's, you know, it's size styles. It's like a master color. It's incredible. Um, what can I tell you about her besides she's so beautiful and soft. She's a size small. She could either fit a small or medium head, so I'm an extra small, I, a small and medium. I did not mean that. She could fit a an extra small or small head, probably not a medium. Um, she fits me well ear to ear, and I'm real short ear to ear in front to nape. She, there is extra, I can't feel it if it's just sitting here, but if I felt in there, I'd be like, okay, yeah, there is a little extra fabric that if you're longer than, like, let's say you're 12.5 front to nape or 13, you could still wear this wig. And I am more like 11 and a half front to nape, and um, and it, it fits without bothering me, but I can tell if you had a bigger head, you could pull it down longer, okay? So it's just the ear tabs, but my sideburns always show, I don't know, they always show on wigs, so. Another reason why I don't wear blondes as much, but all you have to do is tuck like this. I mean, I wear eye wigs all the time that have no ear tab, and I just have to be careful, you know, because it comes all the way up to here. I just have to be careful how I ear tuck. What can I tell you else about this wig? She is a, she has a silk liner, so it's kind of the best of the both worlds. They um, are less itchy. You don't typically have to wear scar tape with them unless you have real dark hair and then you might put a little bit like this person did. Um, but uh, they, they're just really comfortable and they don't itch when, you know, you're outside and it's like hot. And if you have a buzzed head and stuff, they don't tend to itch as much and they're not as hot as like a silk top. Okay, this particular person had left on some scar tape with some makeup. It does not hurt it. You can't feel it, but you do see the mark. So that's why particular reason I say to uh, store your wigs, take off the scar tape before you wash or store your wigs. That's my preference. It typically, it doesn't hurt it. That scar tape comes off so easily, but it can leave a mark. So what else? The clear thread had come out. You can see where it had come out over here and the person had stitched it up and they used white thread. Does not hurt it at all. They did a fabulous job because if you turn it over on the other side, they didn't get any of the hair. If you ever do sew up, so here's one of my kits. If you ever do accidentally, let's say you're sewing it in yourself, I typically like to use a needle. You go on the other side of it. So you, you're sewing here and let's say you went through and you accidentally got some of the hair and you can see it you just go and you gently put your third I can't even see it hold it up Laura um you can't um you wouldn't be able to tell unless you move the hair back and this one doesn't have any for me to actually demonstrate it in but you just put your needle where that ha hair is like held down and you just gently pull it up you just stick your needle in if you feel if you see it I'm just pretending because it's not done on this one and you like get the hair and you lift it out from underneath where the stitching was if it ever got stitched down. But like I said, this one didn't. I'm going through and checking it. It didn't anywhere I can see. Okay, anyway, she re-sewed it down. There is a teeny space right here from here to here where it doesn't have any. But typically on the wigs I sell, when I sew these in myself or if I get them from a vendor, I say, don't sew down the front part. I don't like it sewed down personally because I don't want anything in my lace unless you're doing a mend job. Um, I prefer it to be free and then it doesn't move around. And if it does, you just put a, you can put a little piece of scar tape right there, like right over it. 
you know, if you don't like the movement of it, or you can sew it down, but I, I like mine free. So you can take this entire thing out. You can just take the stitching here out. If you did, you know, you clipped that, then you would need to re-sew it, you know, sew it back down on each side. And I prefer to avoid the lace. This was, I think, either done by Sai or by the manufacturer. So it is sewn into the lace here. Just be really careful. I tend to not, I tend to sew it um, just into the fabric. So that's how I do it. Anyway, she is beautiful and silky soft and such a gorgeous color. Lace is cut pretty close. So there is extra room to cut lace from here to here, probably. And you can see that makeup right there. But here to here, it's real close to the hairline. It doesn't bother, it doesn't mess it up at all, but I just want you guys to know that. Um, I will sell her for about 900. She'd probably go over 2,000 on size site. And um, the hair feels brand new. The only thing is, uh, you know, the lace has, has been worn and the lace is cut close, but it lays flat right now, totally flat to my head. So that's, that's uh, what's her name? Um, as if. She's so pretty, but she's too blonde for me. So who's gonna get her? Let me know. She'll be available, I'll send her out. And if you want me to do any extra little adjustments to her, I can always do that for you. But her color, I don't think I'd ever touch because he nailed it. This, the color, the more you see it in person, it's like he, he did an amazing job. Of course he did. I love size wigs, his coloring. He's just so awesome. I love this bang. I just think it's sexy and fun, it just adds you know, some um, character of the wig and some movement. Look how cute that is. I mean, you don't have to have it. If you don't want a side bang, you can like have it, um, you know, blend in with the other hair. But if you wanted to like curl it and make it a fun little bang that hangs down, these are my favorite haircut ha hairstyles right now. I love the curtain bang and the side bang. I just think it's sexy. So, all right, that's it. Let me know what you think about it. And I have quite a few others for sale. If I'm missing a color, I do have a darker brown, medium brown um, hair envy for sale. I'm probably gonna sell my Diaco. It's a darker brown, um, this one. And then I have several McKenna and Madison wigs that are more of the comfort cap style for sale. So just let me know. And of course, then I have my own brand and I have so many of those, mostly doing custom orders these days. Um, I had not planned on doing custom orders and it just happened. I just fell into it. Like people saying, well, I love it, but can you do this? Or can you do that? I'm like, yeah, actually I can. So that's what I do now. But uh, I have a lot on my site. And if it's not, if you see something on my site and you want something done to it differently, like I want more of a root, I want it darker. I want more of a highlight whatever, I want it thinner, I want this and that, I can do that to it because, you know, for the most part of all of them, I've custom color. There might be a couple of them that were closer to a stock piece, but I tend to do something to all of my wigs, some kind of coloring and I bleach the knots and pluck hairlines and add more hair and lots of different things. So if there's something you need done to it, if you need a silk liner added or removed or whatever, I can do all of those things. So just let me know. Um, I tend not to work on other people's personal wigs as much as um, the ones that I'm selling, but like if there's something on these that you want done, I can do it. So that's all. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and show my, share my videos. If you wouldn't mind, that'd be great. Help some other people out potentially. So, all right. Have a beautiful Saturday.